Welcome to Now in Android, your ongoing guide to what's new and notable in the world of Android development. The Data Store Mad Skills series rolls on. In the sixth episode, Simona covered Data Store Best Practices Part 2, covering Data Store to Data Store migration. This is used when you make significant changes to your data set, like renaming your data model values or changing their type. For the final part of the Data Store series, Simona covered Data Store and testing and teaches you how to fully test your Data Store. For even more Data Store, don't miss the live Q&A happening this Thursday, February 24th at 10 a.m. PST. For ongoing content, be sure to check the Mad Skills playlist on YouTube, the articles on Medium, or our handy landing page that points to all of it. Last week, we released version 1.1 of Jetpack Compose. This release contains new features like improved focus handling, touch target sizing, image vector caching, and support for Android 12 stretch overscroll. This also means that previously experimental APIs are now stable. Check out our recently updated samples, code labs, and the accompanist library. Material U will soon be available on more Android 12 phones globally, including devices by Samsung, OnePlus, and more. Material U has made the Android experience more fluid and personal than ever. Our OEM partners continue to work with us to ensure that key design APIs work consistently across the Android ecosystem, so developers can benefit from a cohesive experience. We're sharing a first look at the next release of Android with the Android 13 Developer Preview 1. With Android 13, we're continuing some important themes, privacy and security, as well as developer productivity. We'll also build on some newer updates made in 12L to help you take advantage of the 250 plus million large screen Android devices currently running. Let's take a look at what's been up with Android X releases since the last episode. Since Compose just went stable, the animation, compiler, foundation, material, runtime, and UI versions also went stable. Games text input and profile installer also went stable. There are a bunch of new APIs in alpha, including test runner, test monitor, test services, test orchestrator, metrics version, and startup version. Okay, that's it for this time with Jetpack Compose Stable, Data Store Mad Series Skill, Material U, Developer Preview of Android 13, Android X releases, and more. Come back here soon for the next update from the Android Developer Universe.